everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Apubarama, and in today's video, we are going to be breaking into this week's deals and discounts for Grand Theft Auto Online. Let's get straight into it. Starting off, we have the Weenie Issy Sport. This is the wheel spin vehicle on the podium this week. It's a pretty cool sports car. I wouldn't say there's anything insane about it, but it's pretty fun to drive. It's got really good handling, actually, for the sports class, and it looks okay. I've never been a huge fan of minis, but I think it's a nice car, and if you like rallying, even though this isn't the Weenie Issy Rally, it's still a pretty good vehicle all around when it comes to handling even off-road. Next up, we have the Baller LELWB Armored Variant. That's a handful to say. This is part of this week's LS Car Meet Challenge. To get it, it's pretty dang easy. You just need to win two races in a row, finishing first or second place. Essentially, if you have one friend, you can start up a private race, do the race once a day with them, and boom, you have this car in your garage. Now, to be fair, this is only like a three, four hundred thousand dollar vehicle, if I'm not mistaken. It's not a great car, especially when a vehicle like the Shafter V12 is cheaper than this vehicle, especially the armored variant, it's only like 200 grand, and the armored Shafter V12 can hold just as many people while handling better, and just a better vehicle in general. So, it's definitely not the best vehicle to get, but if you're a newer player and you don't have a lot of money, it's quite an easy vehicle to get your hands on, and as I am showcasing here, all of the glass in the vehicle is semi-bulletproof. So if you do shoot it enough, as you can see, will end up cutting through the glass, and that's the same for explosions. It can survive one explosive, the second one blowing it up. But overall, I really wouldn't say this is too good of a vehicle to actually bother to try and get your hands on this week. Now we move on to the discounted vehicles. There really aren't that many, to be completely honest, and only a couple of the discounted cars are actually decent. Decent. Starting off, we have the Gauntlet Classic. I really like this vehicle. It's definitely based off of a Superbird of some sort, but obviously we have the Daytona Superbird already in the game, and that is the Betty's upgraded version of this vehicle. So this is just your normal stock variant. It's not the fastest muscle car in the game. In fact, it's one of the slower muscle cars when it comes to top speed. I do like the way it's got the little lights that get covered up when you turn them on and off. Very, very cool. But the real good thing about this muscle car is that it actually has really good handling. It's one of the better handling muscle cars in the class. So because of that, you can actually go around corners and not worry too much about completely killing yourself while driving this vehicle. I should also point out, it's pretty dang good at getting wheelies done because of the way the back's designed. You can see that here. I mean, that was a very, very long hold on a wheelie, and that's something that this vehicle is absolutely fantastic at. It's not a normally expensive vehicle. I think it's like six, seven hundred thousand. So usually Rockstar's usual discounts of like 30, 40%. You can probably get your hands on this vehicle for about four, three hundred thousand. Not a bad deal at all. And yeah, I mean, if you like muscle cars, it's definitely a good vehicle to think about buying. So think about it. This is the Power Surge, and it's a vehicle I've never really liked. It's an electric motorcycle, which I don't know, it's always just been kind of weird to me. I think the whole point of a motorcycle is to get that big old roar of the engine, and I mean, this doesn't really get it. It's not slow. To be fair, you can see here we're going pretty fast. 127 miles per hour, it appears to be around the top speed, and if, if you're holding a wheelie, you can probably get even faster than that. Yeah, you can see there. It's a fast vehicle. It's not slow by any means. It's just not my cup of tea because I like a motorcycle to sound like a motorcycle, but if you like speed, this is a fast vehicle. It's really good at wheeling. And as you can see, 130. Let's hold this wheelie here. 140. Oh, wow. We are flying. So pretty cool motorcycle overall. It's uh, it's electric. So if you like these types of vehicles, pick one up. I know this is a fairly expensive vehicle normally. So the fact that it's discounted is not too bad this week. Next up, we have the RE7B, which even though it is a very old vehicle, is still one of the more expensive supercars in Grand Theft Auto Online, sitting, I'm pretty sure, close to like 2.5 million. With the discount, I would expect it to be around 1.8-ish million dollars, which is not too bad at all. The RE7B is still one of the best handling cars in the game. The only thing that really lets it down is its lackluster top speed at only around 100 and I think 24 miles per hour. It's just not great on top speed, but when it comes to handling, I mean, this vehicle can turn on a dime. It is an incredibly good vehicle and also enjoyable vehicle to drive. 
because of those handling flags it does carry. I mean, you can see this here, I'm full turning back and forth, and there is no problem whatsoever. There's no loss of grip, there's no chance of driving off the road. It is just such an enjoyable vehicle to drive. For anybody that doesn't own the RE7B, this is the time to get it. It is just one of the all-around best vehicles, especially if you like good handling. I even used this vehicle not too long ago for a time trial, and it absolutely smoked the time trial due to the lap time it was able to get. Next up, we have the Deity, which is a pretty cool sedan. You can you can see it's a four-seater, and just like the Baller LE and the Shafter V12, this vehicle has semi-bulletproof glass, as you can see, and it can also survive one explosion due to the semi-armored uh, sides of it. So, it's not the most impressive vehicle ever, but it's a cool vehicle. I like the way it looks, and it's a pretty fast car overall. Now, the only reason why I'd say this vehicle is kind of pointless is because there's also the Paragon R armored that exists, and you can get your hands on that pretty dang easily just by purchasing the cheapest penthouse. I'd suggest to buy the penthouse when it's on sale, which appears to be about once every month or two months. Purchase a penthouse, and then when you get a penthouse, you can get the vehicle for free just by completing the missions. Plus, you get like $1 million for completing the missions with a friend as well. So that's usually how I would suggest just to go about getting an armored vehicle. Now, if you want a four-door like this, then yeah, I guess this isn't a terrible car to get your hands on, but I'd still say the Shafter V12 is a better vehicle. It's not only cheaper, but I'm pretty sure it's faster than this car on lap time and top speed. So yeah, I mean, the Shafter V12 is an extremely underrated vehicle, and that's really the only reason why I can't say this is too good of a deal. It looks like a Paragon R, but it's kind of uglier, and the Shafter V12 is also a four-seater that gets everything done that this vehicle would try to. We got two vehicles left here that are normal cars. We have a BMW. I think this is an X7 in real life, but in the game it's the Ubermach Rebla GTS. This is one of the best SUVs when it comes to top speed and handling in the game. It's a pretty nice looking car as well. I really like the way the lights are on this vehicle. I think they're very, very cool. And you can see this is not a slow vehicle at all. It does not, even though it is an SUV, drive like an SUV. This thing is fast. So if you like good handling SUVs that are all-wheel drive, that can do a bit of off-roading fine, and do a bit of drifting, this vehicle's actually not bad at drifting as you can see. It's a pretty good vehicle overall. It looks nice as well. I'm a big fan of BMWs. I think that this is a really solid looking one. So uh, yeah, overall, I think that this is a pretty decent buy, especially if you want to seat four people and you want to have a bit of fun in an SUV. Overall, I can't really say there's too much special about it. The problem I've always had with SUVs in Grand Theft Auto Online, apart from the fact that they are all-wheel drive and sometimes okay at off-roading is the fact that, well, I don't really see the reason to buy an SUV when you can just buy, you know, a four-seater sedan that's faster, that can handle better, and basically do the exact same thing. Either way, next up we have the taxi, and it makes sense the taxi is on sale this week because there is double money for taxi work. I wouldn't suggest to do taxi work. I wouldn't even suggest to buy a taxi. I mean, the vehicle is not very fast, and obviously you're not going to be buying a taxi for speed, but I wouldn't really suggest to buy the taxi in general. Even though it is discounted, what are you going to do with it? I mean, there's really not much to do with it. It's a taxi. If you could buy police cars, that would be sick, and I really hope, and I still hope that Rockstar is not done adding updates into GTA 5, and they sometime do a GTA 5 police update, but either way, I think it's a cool vehicle, I just don't think it's worth the price, especially for the fact you can't really do much with it, apart from the kinda lame taxi missions, which, yeah, I mean, they give you a little bit of money, but, I don't know, I got bored of them after, like, the first day. There really isn't much to do with them. So, finally, we have the Brocade 6x6, which I would highly suggest to get your hands on. This is a vehicle that is probably, I would be willing to say, the best armored vehicle in the game currently. I mean, it's got, first of all, an insane plow. I mean, this plow can launch vehicles into the air. It's not like uh, a lot of the Arena War vehicles where the plows kind of suck and they don't push vehicles out of the way, or, for example, the uh, Doomsday Heist and all those vehicles that kind of don't push stuff out of the way either. This vehicle, as you can see, will absolutely send stuff into the air. In fact, I'm pretty sure I tested this with a tank at one point, and it also launched the Rhino tank into the air. But as you can see, no problems whatsoever. This vehicle will not slow down for pedestrians or anything in front of it. Not only that, it can survive upwards of like 40 homing missiles, 
which is absolutely insane. It's actually really good at off-roading, and it's not even that slow as you can see here. We're going about 115 miles per hour. So overall, this is a vehicle that I always suggest for anybody to pick up just because of what it's capable of doing, how fast it is, and just what it can really do. Either way, that is all the discounts and deals this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, I should point out that stash houses and dealers are going to give you double money if you're participating in them this week. I don't really think they're that insane, to be honest. I don't really use them as a money-making method. I just usually do one Kyoprico heist a day or something to call it because it's pretty easy to make money doing that method rather than the others. But it is a way to make a little bit of cash on the side and doing something new. Either way, that is all basically the discounts and deals. So the final thing we're going to end off off is this the time trial for this week lsia2 you got two minutes and 24 seconds to make it from where you currently are to about three and a half miles away all the way through the city to the end of Vinewood hills right near the dam this is definitely a tricky time trial and if you don't know how to drive a vehicle this will be a hard one to complete in a pretty fast amount of time now i'll be using the body 801 which is one of the best motorcycles in the game to do time trials with. It is not only incredibly fast, but it has some of the best handling for a motorcycle as well, and it's only like 16 grand to buy, and even if you can't afford that, which would be incredibly rare, you can also just steal one off the street, which is what I did at the beginning of my Broke to Billions account. Now, to use a Body 801, all you gotta do is look in front of you, not crash into a pole or something that's gonna knock you off your motorcycle. We've already cut down about a mile on our destination in about 34 seconds. That is incredibly fast when you think about it. We're just gonna keep on going here, slow down a little bit so we can make it around this corner. Uh, there you go. Then we gotta make it around this corner. Oh god, okay, we're good. Thought for a second I was gonna die, but we didn't. So, as you can see, it's pretty easy so far. I mean, there's definitely been some hairy corners and stuff, but as long as you do like one or two practice runs, you should be able to complete this fairly easily. So let's keep on going over here, slow down a bit so we can make it around this corner. Nice. Oh, whoa. okay, we're good. I thought that car was going straight, but it's all good. The car did end up turning. Oh my god. Oh, oh. I don't know how we're not dead. <laughs> I'm just going to say that now. We should have been knocked off our motorcycle for that. All right, let's keep on going up here. We got 0.8 miles to go, and we are doing absolutely fine on time. Even though we had a bit of a hiccup there, it's still fairly easy as you can see to complete this time trial we've got 0.6 miles to go and we're a minute and 30 seconds on the clock i mean this is easy peasy so far just got to get around this corner here and then what i normally like to do is take a shortcut so what you can do is you can just kind of climb up this mountain here which is pretty dang easy as you can see and then you're there so you kind of shave a bit off the road and voila i've made it to the checkpoint in a 1 minute 54 second, which means I beat it by about, what, 25 seconds or something like that? We beat it by a lot of time. Overall, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Not a hard time trial, but definitely a tricky one if you're not great at knowing how to drive your vehicle, when to apply the brakes, and uh, really what you're doing in general. But uh, yeah, pretty decent week overall, decent discounts on the RE7B, the Gauntlet, and as well, the Brickade 6x6. The podium vehicles are kind of mediocre, I'm not going to lie, and the discounts this week are also pretty bad. Oh god, last week's discounts were a lot better, especially the uh, double money on the Acid Lab. So I wouldn't suggest a really frenzy about playing GTA 5 this week, but hey, it's still a decent way to make some money and have a bit of fun while doing it. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.